All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Things are getting really exciting from covering this Project Alpen Fury to covering projects of the Vacoma coaster, the Yeti Trek at Santa's Village. We also are starting to hear rumblings about codename Project Waldorf Company. Um, there is a code name for the company that has bought Marine Land that is appearing on documents. So we have a very close eye on that company and we are very close to figuring out who might be the purchaser of Marine Land and they might be a lot closer than you think. Um, but nonetheless, let's get back on track to Elpen Fury. Elpen Fury is rapidly moving now, okay? The construction team is just punching this thing out. There are caissons um, all over Skyrider's plot of land, Skyrider, Skyflyer's plot of land, um, and they are just going so quick, and they're building the rebar cages while also laying them in the ground, and I know tomorrow or today when this video comes out, when I go and look, there's probably going to be some threaded rod installed as well on top, ready for more cement to be poured um, tomorrow. Um, I kind of know the process now. Everyone does. It's like, the same thing they do every day. They pour the case on, or they dig the case on, they pour the case on, then they put the threaded rod on and pour the remainder of the footing. Um, so it's really exciting. Uh, these trees that were marked for removal that we were talking about in yesterday's video, well, a lot more are marked for removal now. We're starting to think that this could be potentially for some theming or to do some work on the mountain skirt. Um, every tree along the path of the coaster, but also in certain not paths of the coaster, um, they are marked for removal. Uh, so that's interesting. Maybe it's for maintenance purposes as well for them to be able to walk around without tree interference. But yes, every tree, the sad thing is every tree you'll see in a second is marked for removal in this area. So the footings are marked along the mountain skirt through Vortex's drop and lift hill. And they're all marked there. And every tree is marked for removal, like I said. So this area is definitely going to look very different. Um, next year. I know some people are not going to be a fan of this. The tree is getting removed. We were actually just talking about this as a group the other day, how well Wonderland's trees have grown in over the years since opening year, um, how Wonderland used to like not have a lot of shade when they first opened with all those trees and how they've grown in. And it's just a really well shaded park with a lot of nature surrounding the attractions. So it is obviously sad to see these big trees get cut down for attractions. But obviously, Elbin Fury is a lot better. And I know the park, they're going to plant some greenery. Um, but yeah, it is a little sad. But unfortunately, with new attractions, you have to get rid of some of the, uh, the greenery. So... Um, some really exciting news that you're about to see in a, a second is the tower. Um, the tower for the uh, first element coming out of the mountain is now marked as well. Um, so some of the tower supports will be coming down into the entrance of the ruins. And then one of the tower supports is actually on the outside, which is marked. I believe it's marked T3 or T2, one of the two. Um, so that's really exciting. Excited to see that because honestly, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I really like the look of the support structure of it coming out of the mountain, the, that first element. It's got like a glacier kind of look to it. Um, so I was really impressed um, by the design of the coaster. And I'm also really impressed by the uh, slight icy blue color to the track. It almost looks like a glacier in water, um, the underneath of it. So that's really cool. I like that it's not the white that we saw. So yeah, T2 East or E right there. Um, then the other ones are inside the ruins. So when Howling Haunt opens, we'll actually be able to see some of those markings or those walls that are around um, those support columns. The park has a lot of work to do when they close for uh, uh, daily operations. So you'll see the they'll start to cut holes into the mountain probably starting next week. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of markings. I think the entire coaster is marked up or most of it now. Um, but a lot of the work has moved over to Extreme Sky Flyer while they work on the inside of the mountain with restructuring the second level. So they're kind of reforming a second level in the mountain, if you remember the construction tour. So they're just removing some of the support columns in the way of the launch and then building another level up there um, for some future attraction. Um, outside of that, um, as you heard earlier, they have worked on some caissons that'll be footing soon. And uh, just some work on building some rebar. A lot of land um, digging in that one specific spot with the tampering. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a really quick area. They'll probably be done here maybe tomorrow, depending on weather. 
maybe Monday, Monday at latest. Um, but it's yeah, they've moved so quickly. It's insane. One, there'll be like no construction for two weeks. And then out of nowhere, an entire element of the ride is done in a couple of days. So very impressive. Um, as you can see here, they are working on building a really large rebar cage, um, obviously for a high intense element. Outside of that, not too much else to report on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I'm missing anything. Um, but yeah, again, uh, the drone updates will be back um, starting next week. So you'll see um, the drone con covering some construction um, inside the park. Really excited about that. Um, the park has given me clearance. For those of you that don't know, to sum things up, there are some new Six Flags rules that came into play um, about filming behind the scenes areas and the drone was a really touchy subject um, so after some conversations with the park um, I am allowed to fly the drone um, there will be some drone footage that is patreon exclusive but any of the construction site I can show on my channel um, so stay tuned for that I'm really excited to get back to flying the drone for you guys it's been a while but yeah awesome thank you so much and stay tuned have a good one guys bye